G'day guys, so another boat building video. And this boat's going to have a single purpose, and that is to track down other boats, trap, hold them, neutralize them, and destroy them. So let's lay the foundation down, and this is going to be slightly different than what we've done before. I'm going to use a level that's one higher than what I normally do. So normally we'd lower this foundation one more, but in this case we're going to leave it at that level. And that's the level we're going to be extending out from. But we still have to lower it down over the rudder. So I have to lower it down two more times. Just use the snap point cycling button to find that lower level. And once more, just make sure that the pillar is at the lowest level possible. Again, using the snap point cycling button to find it. Okay, so that's the level we're going to use for the main cab. Right down at draft level. So now extend the highest foundation over the rest of the raft. That low foundation in front of the rudder needs to be swapped out for a higher one. Extend the low level at the rudder, back one. Now they're the only two low foundations, everything else is higher. This higher level is the highest you can go while still protecting the bottom of the raft. Not that it really matters with this build. Now make a cab over those two lowered foundations. To do this cleanly, start with the ceiling at the back and build a door frame up off the back of that ceiling. You can demolish the ceiling and the door frame will remain. Now two ceilings forward. We're building like this so there'll be no gaps in the walls. Before you do any more, put a smithy in. This allows you to get it right up next to the wall. Just make sure you leave space for that wall. And put it on the right hand side so you can still stand at the rudder. Now snap the walls on down from the ceiling. You will get a lot of vibration with this, which you can temporarily halt by using the snap point cycling button. Make sure they're snapped with the wood on the inside. Anyway, that's your cab. Extend out the back again at the high snap point. Make sure the one rear of the rudder is at the high snap point. Slap a door in and the cab is finished. Whew. 
and a bed down. You always need a bed. And that's the only furniture we're going to use. Okay, now extend a ring right around the edge. Firstly by putting that ceiling out. And then foundation underneath. Extend the back out as well. While extending the back isn't really required, it does prevent your boat from being trapped itself. If someone was to get behind you. Now go back and demolish all those thatched ceilings. And that's where we're at. Now we have to keep extending the sides and the front. So do another ring. You won't get them into the corners this time. That ceiling then foundation underneath. And again, demolish all the thatch ceilings. And now we're at this size. We've now extended the front as far as we can go, but we can still extend the side one more. This extension on the side isn't really required, so if you need more pieces, this is what can go first. But the bigger the area, the easier it is to trap people. Now again, snap foundation underneath the thatch ceiling. So we've now extended the front and sides as far as it can possibly go. You can extend the back one more, but we need those pieces available. Now I'm going to get rid of that temporary ramp that I was using and put one right at the back. Now I'm going to place a boarding ramp next to the cab. This is to allow us access to the top of other boats. So just put a wall down and build a ramp up off that. Leave it at three ramps, don't bother putting this fourth one in. Three ramps will allow you to board a boat four walls high, which is as high as you'll ever see. At that height you can't see at the front anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to mount a catapult, which is the easiest way of blowing through the side of a boat. Or at least the cheapest way. So a temporary thatch ceiling at the right hand side and place the catapult down on that ceiling. And get rid of the thatch. And replace the ceiling with the hatch frame to give bottom access. Okay. 
Okay, so we're nearly done, but what I'd like to do is put a few crop plots on. If you end up doing the random chance club dance on your platform instead of theirs, you want the plants on your side. And I've got to get rid of that top ramp, otherwise I'll run out of pieces. Three ramps is good enough. Now I'll just plant the plants. Now at this point you want to make sure you have four pieces left. Because we're going to lose two when the plants grow. And I'm going to use two more steps when I'm boarding the other boat. So yep, that's the four pieces. And then maxed out at 88 pieces. So that's it, that's the complete boat trapping boat. Now let's go see it in action. All you have to do is chase another boat down. Try and cut him off. With the aim of the game being to extend your foundation over the top of their rudder. It's a little hard to miss with such a large foundation base. So once you've achieved that, stop your boat and then they'll be stuck. So once you've stuck the boat, if the driver attempts to get off the rudder, he'll become stuck as well. He won't be able to get back on and now the boat's immobilised. Now an important note, if your foundation passes through their wall, you won't be able to damage that wall. Now, because we've used the high foundation which is used to trap the driver, we can't damage that bottom wall, as his foundation has sunk lower. So what I have to do is blow away the two walls above it. And the catapult is fairly slow, but it is cheap to use. And that boat's not going anywhere. Now to board the boat what I'm going to need is two storage boxes. Which I'm going to use as steps to board the boat. So place it underneath the hole and jump through. He's immobilised in place. Although he can still hit your back if you're not careful. Sometimes they go retarded. You can still loot with your foundation embedded in it. Now to get back out we are going to need another step so place another storage box down. I blow two walls out because it's really difficult to jump through a single wall hole.
You might note that you can't actually damage the bed, but that bed's been neutralised as well. They can't use that bed with your foundation inside it. I'll show you something else that's important. So he has a plant on the boat, which is shooting. But now I'll go to use the boarding ramp. And now the plant's been neutralised as well. Trapping their rudder with your foundation neutralises everything on the boat. Their driver, their beds and their plants. Anyway, yeah, I hope I don't get this bullshit used against me now, but there it is. The boat trapping boat. Anyway, yeah, what are we going to do next? Um... I think I'm going to have to arm up the plants on the boats, but um, I've got to cover something first before that, which will lead into that. But that's for another video.